Hey guys and welcome to the final episode of Antique Penguin. Yes you heard it, this is indeed the final episode of Antique Penguin which I am of course excited to finish the series and sad at the same time as I will pretty much miss this game as this game is gonna shut down at May 4th. Anyways this is the second and final part of the Operation End Game Party and the first minute of the video is recorded at April 4th and the rest of the video is recorded at April 28th. So anyways what I am doing right now is talking to the director at the HQ again and what I need to actually do to progress the storyline is to find Ross and get his keycard. Alright guys I found Ross as well as the keycard at the lighthouse and I find it very hilarious that I am stepping at Ross. And of course after that I went back to the HQ again to talk to the director again. Of course the reason I got Ross's keycard at the first place is so that the director can duplicate the keycard and that I can access Looker's base. Alright guys I had to wait 3 weeks for the final update to come so that I can talk to the director again to get the duplicate keycard. So basically the party had 3 updates with the first update being at March, the second update being at early April, and the final update being at late April. The second update is the shortest update by the way which is the reason why I didn't upload any Antique Penguin related videos back at April. So anyways what me and the director are discussing is to how to distract him and take down his base to free all of the captured penguins. And of course I finally got Looker's keycard after the discussion with the director and the design of the keycard looks freaking awesome by the way. And since I now have Looker's keycard, I can now access Looker's base which of course can be accessed from the dance lounge. And damn Looker's lair looks so freaking damn awesome. It definitely reminds me of one of the rooms at the music jam from 2009 onwards at the original Club Penguin when Cadence became a mascot. Anyways at the room you can see Looker sitting at his throne as well as of all of the mascots at the game at the middle. Ross is also at the left and I think the penguins from the penguin chat era are at the right. And damn the music is freaking awesome as well. All of the custom music at this game are freaking awesome by the way. Also this conversation is very interesting to read by the way. Probably the best dialogue at this game ever as it's very intense. And of course the director was obviously Antarctic as she was the director at the original Club Penguin as well when they revealed it during the Operation Blackout party. Also not gonna lie guys, I never expected Looker to be so important to the Operation Endgame party as he was just a random NPC that pops up after like 10 seconds I think at the HQ. Damn I really love that the creator added a lot of lore to the NPCs of the game despite them not being so important. And damn the conversation keeps getting darker as Looker is talking about the island probably getting destroyed which I guess will get destroyed at May 4th which is when this game shuts down forever. Damn now we know the reason why Looker is the villain at this party is because of the doomsday happening around the island. And wow I think Looker is referencing the original Club Penguin as well as likely other CPPSs back in the past. Makes sense on why Looker couldn't find evidence of himself is because he is only an exclusive NPC at Antique Penguin. Honestly I feel kinda bad that the custom mascots at Antique Penguin are probably not gonna be brought back to a new generation or reincarnation. It honestly feels bad being forgotten in general but at least we will all remember this custom mascots pal Patton has created at this game by re-watching all of my older Antique Penguin videos. And damn really love how Antarctic is telling Ross that she wouldn't let them forget you and that we need to stand together in our final moments. I guess it all makes sense now why Looker said to make peace with your enemies and celebrate with your enemies. Damn this almost made me cry with tears. And Ross should definitely make peace with the Penguin Band as it is pretty much the end of the world at the island anyways. And that is indeed true that Looker will add a doomsday clock at the town after this conversation ends but I won't show it at this video cause I want to end the series already. And you go do that Looker and enjoy your life at your cabin near the ski hill before the end comes. It's so sad that the game is ending in an end of the world situation but it totally makes sense as it totally matches with the game being shut down. And wow the music stopped for some odd reason which is really weird honestly in my opinion. And wow my penguin is actually asking questions to Antarctic. Unfortunately Antarctic can't answer questions to my penguin since there is no time at all due to the island about to get destroyed. 
but hey at least I got a new award which is the gold EPF badge and that I can still play all those mini games around the island before the game gets shut down at May 4th. Really proud of my outfit at this game by the way and damn the EPF gold badge looks freaking awesome. Anyways that is it for this finale of an awesome game. Really enjoyed the party and I really loved how it ended with Looker's interesting dialogue at his lair. Honestly this party has got to be the best party at this game ever due to how interesting the storyline for the party is. It's too bad the game is shutting down very soon but at least I was able to have fun playing and enjoying the game while it lasted. Also expect me to join a new CPPS either in May or June. I'll probably either join Penguin Zone or Club Penguin today or both as I heard good things about those CPPSs. Anyways if you guys enjoyed this video then please like, comment, and subscribe for more random CPPS walkthroughs. With that being said, see you guys at another CPPS walkthrough.